For three consecutive years, Jaguar dominated the Lamar 24 hours between 1955 and 1957. Now, to take that heritage and turn it into a production car, they needed to make something super special. And that car is this, the Jaguar E-Type. On its release in March 1961, Enzo Ferrari said this was the most beautiful car in the world. Till this day, in 2017, the E-Type Jaguar is ranked one of the most beautiful cars of all time. We're driving in what can only be described as an icon. Everything about this car is handmade. The steering wheel is made out of wood. The leather is probably hand stitched. Everything in this car just feels so nostalgic. Powering it is the 4.2 liter V8, which makes 198 kilowatts and just over 300 Newtons of torque. So let's just think about that for a second. 198 kilowatts, 394 newton meters of torque at a top speed of 150 miles an hour, did 100 Ks in about six seconds. I'm starting to see why the Le Mans D-Type racer was made into a road going car because why would you not want this as your everyday car? Because back then, this car did 100 Ks in the sub six seconds, had a top speed of 150 miles an hour and sounded like that. This is like driving an absolute dream. After driving this icon, the legend that kind of set the standard for sports cars going forward, it's hard to imagine how 56 years later it looks this good. Normally when cars are made, as time goes on, they look dated and ugly, but this car is, there's no other word for it, it's, it's classic. So now that it is 2017, how does a car like this get any better? This is the spiritual successor to the Jaguar E-Type. It's called the F-Type, and it carries every bit of essence and soul that the old car had. The interior is modern, so you have premium leather, you have all the right buttons and switches, and everything you need from a 21st century sports car. Powering the F-Type is a choice of two powertrains, a V6 and a V8, and the one we have here is the V6S, powered by a three liter V6 supercharged engine. Power from the 3 liter V6 supercharged is 279 kilowatts. Top speed is 275 kilometers an hour and 0 to 100 is dealt with in 4.8 seconds. The ride quality is superb thanks to independent suspension and an all aluminium chassis and body which means that like the E-Type the engine is bolted to the frame with just the engine cover doing the material piece. Even though the E-Type was 56 years old, in 2017 driving this new F-Type, it feels the same. You get the same sort of DNA, the same feedback, you sit low to the ground and to me, this is the essential sports car and the only sports car you'll ever need. Power comes through an 8-speed flappy paddle gearbox which is super sharp. So once you put your foot down in an open space of road, it leaves you with a big grin on your face. Not only from that, but with this button down here. That is the active exhaust. So by flicking it on, putting the gearbox into sport and putting the hammer down, it's gonna make you smile. In the F-Type, you get a choice of three modes. You get a normal mode for when you switch the car and you just do a little bit of driving for your everyday needs. There's also a mode as you flick it up you get a rain, wet and snow mode, which cuts the power and makes things easier to handle in a tricky situation. But the one you want is dynamic mode. Flinking it all the way to the bottom, putting the gearbox on sport, 
it leaves you with a big grin on your face. 56 years on in 2017, the old E-Type that was just then tiny definitely carries its DNA to the new sound part, the f -type. I love how they've carried every bit of DNA from old back to new, from chassis to design to even racing engineering, every bit of pedigree, all the way from the 1960s when this car was made right up to 2017. But I really want to take my hat off to Jaguar because they've literally carried the essence of the prowling cat in both of these cars. 60 years ago, the E-Type was the pinnacle for the brand. Carrying it over to 2017, the F-Type is one of the best cars that they ever made right now. So, if this is what happens from past to present, imagine what will happen in the future.